is Prof Ahuja, uh, your host today, coming to you from the IBM Toronto lab. And uh, our guest today is Raul Chong, the program manager for uh, the DB2 on campus program. Now, it's a rare sight to see Raul here in Toronto because he's mostly on uh, uh, airplanes uh, all over the world these days. So, how are you doing, Raul? Very good, thank you. I'm glad to be in Toronto for these past two weeks. Good, good. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us what this DB2 on campus thing is all about? Uh, sure, Rob. <laughs> this uh, DB2 on campus program is a program that has started last year around June of 2006 in Brazil and basically consists of uh, going to universities or somebody from the IBM DB2 Express C team goes to a university and delivers a speeches about DB2 and mainly it's to, to raise awareness about what DB2 is and the technology that we can bring. Uh, besides these speeches we come back to the same universities on a second visit or it could be on the same visit and we uh, deliver some free courses uh, it could be uh, overview courses of DB2, some two days or one day courses on, on DB2, uh, mainly for instructors or for students who are really, really interested in, in, in learning more about DB2. And uh, we also offer some uh, DB2 certification exams for free. Normally they, they, there is a cost to those exams, but as part of this program we uh, provide them for free. And as well we're working on a book that should be coming out very soon and um, well, also some uh, e-learning courses that I've uh, been working with the community in Italy. They will be working on those as well. And um, yeah, basically that, that's what the program is, is all about. Yeah. Okay, so you crossed Brazil and Italy. Um, where else is DB2 on campus program active? Well, I would say it's pretty much all over the world now, uh, from China, uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Peru, um, Mexico, I don't know, I, I could keep going like this, but the nice uh, thing is that um, I, basically I've been traveling to all of these countries, but as I travel I also find some people either from IBM who voluntarily replicate the speeches or the courses and some also students that replicate the courses as well. So that leads me to this other topic about the DB2 Student Ambassador Program which is also part of this DB2 on Campus Program where basically a student replicates all of this program for IBM and it's all done voluntarily but um, at the end of the six month period which is the minimum uh, amount of time required they would basically get a, a letter of recommendation from IBM saying whatever they did about the program so if they were able to replicate this speech to 1000 other students we would put that in the letter of recommendation if they were able to teach DB2 to 30 other students we would also put that so the more they do for the program the more we can add to their letter of recommendation Okay, so sounds really beneficial for the student in that not only do they build DB2 skills, but it also helps them uh, with opportunities down the road with the recommendations that they might get. Right, and uh, they also gain the skills, not only technical skills, because if they teach DB2 or they, uh, you know, if they give these speeches, they are also improving their presentation skills. And nowadays, many companies require students not only just to know how to code, but also how to express themselves. So it's a good opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. um, Raul, can you tell us how, uh, how do you envision this DB2 on campus program going forward? What are your plans? Well, uh, there are two main things that uh, we're planning to do in the near future. Um, one of them is uh, we're trying to grow the community, the online community. And we're going to be doing that using Facebook.com. Facebook.com is a uh, popular online social network. Uh, it's mainly used by universities. And uh, we recently created a DB2 on campus group in Facebook.com. So uh, basically, I would encourage you to register to Facebook.com and look for the DB2 on campus group and sign up and that's the main uh, means of communication that we will be using in the future. Um, 
and uh, we basically can uh, s uh, establish some, for example, uh, events. Uh, when is it that, for example, I will be visiting a given university? Uh, you can post your pictures there. So basically, it's a social network. It's not only necessarily uh, we're gonna just be talking about technical stuff. We can also talk about, uh, you know, it's basically more like friendly uh, type of environment and. Um, uh, the second uh, initiative that we are trying to run is trying to involve the community to start developing projects using db2xpressc. Many times that I've gone to uh, universities, there are these students that are really willing to work, like develop some applications, but um, they have no idea as to what they should write. So um, using facebook.com, I'm planning to uh, uh, start a thread where we kind of list these uh, projects, like you know, different people from IBM may have ideas about projects or from other companies, and maybe they can post them in uh, Facebook.com, the DB2 on campus group, and then the students may be able to see these ideas and they may be able to start developing them with other members of the group on a, volu on a voluntary basis. Right. Okay. Um, so to get more information, I guess go to the Facebook. Uh, uh, group for DB2 on campus mm -hmm. or the uh, DB2 Express C website. Right, yes. Um, and, uh, and they'll be able to find where you're going next? Right. Um, I would uh, suggest you to first go to the IBM DB2 Express C website, which is ibm.com slash DB2 slash Express. There is a students tab in that uh, website. So just click there, and there is one link that will show you uh, my schedule for my trips. And uh, there's also information about how to sign up to Facebook.com. Or the second alternative is just to go directly to Facebook.com, register, and look for the DB2 on campus group. Okay. So you said you're here only for two weeks in Toronto. What is your next destination? Uh, I'm actually flying this Sunday to Mexico. I'll be there for two weeks, visiting uh, four or five universities. And then I'll be going to South America. Um, I'll be going to Peru, um, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, and Venezuela. Wow. Okay, that's great. Uh, bon voyage. Thank you, Rob.